you have your swords, your batting rams, your claws, and your lances. Hello, I'm Frank Soto. Hector El Barbari. And we want to welcome you to this Kinetic Dragon tutorial. Help for the street. And Kinetic up for your life. Good. We are back here on Basic Tuesday. Ooh. And today I'm going to talk about the importance of basics, the fundamentals. Okay? Um, a lot of uh, you guys, uh, a lot of us, we prefer to go to the advanced, to the expert to the go beyond, to um, break the rules, to, you know, uh, just give me what's good. Give me, uh, you know, the secrets. But the secret is in the basics. You have to master your basics. You have to master your foundation. That's why I teach the bio armor, okay? To generate your bio armor, you need to, uh, have a mastery of your basics, a mastery of your craft, okay? So, in order to do that, uh, you can break the rules. I mean, you can go beyond break the rules if you do it responsibly, knowing what's gonna happen and accepting it, but you cannot break the laws, okay? The laws of nature, whether we like it or not, we cannot break them. We cannot break the laws of gravity, okay? The laws apply to all of us. So instead of trying to break the laws, we're going to use them in our favor. So one of the, the uh, understanding this laws, one of the things we need to do is we need to condition our body through repetition. Okay, and that's why we make so much emphasis on learning the bio armor. Okay, and that's it. Basics, 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 basics. Then you can go into any curriculum, whether it's if it's APAC or American Kempo or Tracy Kempo or Koshu Ryu Kempo or Shaolin Kempo or whatever. If it works for you, fine. But what's going to make it work on the street, it's the attitude and the intention. Okay? You need to put special intention to what you're doing. And you need to develop your toughness. Okay? Mentally, emotionally, and physically. Physical resistance. Okay? It's not how hard you can hit, it's how hard you can get hit, okay? Isn't that what Rocky said? That is true, okay? In the street, that applies. So when you train your basics, instead of trying to make it look nice and just going through the motion like one, two, and then you go three, four, five, and you make it look beautiful, and you look at the camera, and you feel so good about yourself, that's fine. That is fine because it will make you feel good and you can say to yourself, I like myself, right? And I can do this, which is good. It's going to empower you. But for you to generate a self-defense oriented uh, system, you don't have to go to reality base. You don't have to go to this system is better than the other system. Or I'm going to learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu now or Krav Maga or Russian Sistema or, or Kempo or uh, defend whatever reality base. The, I don't know what system. It doesn't matter. It's not the system. It is the way you train and the intention you give to what you're doing. Okay, so when you're doing the bio armor, for example, you already have all the weapons. You already work with shields, right? You have your maces, your swords, your batting rams, your claws, and your lances, okay? You have those six weapons. Just practice them hard, and when you do any technique or any scenario, and you start theorizing about self-defense, because that's what we do here. I don't care if you're a part of any of those systems that I mentioned. While you're not in the street in a real situation, while you're here, you are assuming. You are always assuming. Because you're not in a real situation, unless you are. And when you get to that situation, then it's gonna be time for you to apply what you train. Okay, but if you make up your mind and you put that intention and you generate that mindset here, it's gonna be easier for you to do it in the street. Okay, that doesn't mean you're gonna make mistakes. That doesn't mean this is 100% uh, you know, aggression proof or whatever. It isn't. N not any of the systems out there, they're not. They all have flaws. Why? Because it's done by the individual, by the human being. And we have flaws. We're not perfect. 
Some of us are. Yep. <laughs> like El Barbarie here. No! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so understand this. This is important. So you can tell me whatever. You can say, oh, you, I'm going to be a jerk now. I'm going to take this and that. Whatever, dude. Whatever. But in the street, you know, uh, when you get in front of a, an opponent and you start fighting, and when pure knuckles meet pure flesh, it doesn't get any purer than that. And when I start fighting, my truth and my opponent's truth, when we start fighting, that's when they're going to level. Okay? That's when they're going to be the same. Think of this. This was said by a very intelligent man, the late senior grandmaster Ed Parker. So, train hard, put intention, make up your mind, and keep on practicing. I am Frank Soto. Hector El Barbarie. These are the Kinetic Dragon tutorials. Skip ball for the street. And Kinetica for your life. Oh. Remember to subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Give us your thumbs up if you like it. Okay? <laughs> and uh, send us your opinion and your questions, whatever they are, down here. You can uh, put your opinions here on YouTube or you can uh, comment on Facebook, on Twitter or Instagram. We are here to serve you.